हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सी न्यूमेरिकल क्वेश्चंस ऑन पीजोइलेक्ट्रिक ट्रांसड्यूसर ऑलरेडी इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव सीन पीजोइलेक्ट्रिक ट्रांसड्यूसर द कंप्लीट लेक्चर आई हैव टेकन फॉर 40 टू 45 मिनट्स नाउ हियर आई होप दैट यू हैव सीन माय प्रीवियस लेक्चर एंड यू केम हियर फॉर द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ न्यूमेरिकल्स नाउ लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड फ्यू न्यूमेरिकल्स very first question is on your screen find the natural frequency of piezoelectric crystal here what we have to find we have to find the natural frequency efn natural frequency of piezoelectric crystal of a thickness 1.5 mm now the thickness of the crystal is given 1.5 mm if i convert into meter it will become 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter then given that young's modulus 8 into 10 to the power 10 newton per meter square now here we have written young's modulus as y Therefore, Young's modulus is given 8 into 10 to the power 10 Newton per meter square. And density. Now, density of this crystal is 2650 kg per meter cube. Therefore, density rho is equal to 2650 kg per meter cube. Now, see, all are standard units, all are SI units. Force in Newton, dimension in meter, area in meter square, volume in meter cube, mass in kg, distance in meter. All are SI units. Now, we have seen in previous lecture that is frequency, natural frequency of vibration of any crystal is calculated as 1 upon 2t under root of y divided by rho. If you have not seen my previous lecture, remember this formula. Therefore, here let us put the values 1 upon 2 into t is 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 because we have to put in meter into under root of y is 8 into 10 to the power 10 divided by rho is 2650 now let us solve this question now my dear students after solution i will get answer as this natural frequency of vibration fn is equal to 1.831 into 10 to the power 6 and frequency of vibration is always in hertz it is in hertz therefore it can be written as as it is 10 to the power 6 it is nothing but mega therefore this natural frequency of vibration is equal to 1.831 megahertz if they ask you in megahertz then this is your answer so let us understand the second question now the second question is on the screen see let us understand the question find the natural frequency of vibration of a quartz plate of thickness 1.8 mm now again in the question they are asking what is the natural frequency of vibration of the quartz plate efn is equal to question mark if thickness is equal to 1.8 mm 1.8 mm can be written as 1.8 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter. Given Young's modulus for the quartz 8 into 10 to the power 10 newton per meter square and density 2650 kg per meter cube. Here y is given Young's modulus y is equal to 8 into 10 to the power 10. It is 10 to the power 10 and answer is in newton per meter square and density rho is equal to 2650 kg per meter cube. In this case, they are asking what is the natural frequency, right, EFN. So, my dear students, let us say, again, the question is extended. Calculate the change in thickness required if the same plate is to be used to produce ultrasonic wave of frequency 2 megahertz. Means, if a frequency we have to produce equal to 2 megahertz, what is the change in thickness of plate required? Let us say this EFN1 for thickness T1. When your thickness is T1, we are getting natural frequency Fs, Fn1. Let us calculate this Fn1 natural frequency in first case. Just now we have seen formula that is 1 upon 2t. That is T1 for calculating Fn1 it is T1 under root of y by rho is equal to 1 upon 2 into thickness is 1.8 into 10 to the power minus 3 into under root of Young's modulus is 8 into 10 to the power 10 divided by density is 2650. So my dear students, let us simplify this equation. If I simplify this equation, I will get this answer is equal to 1.53 into 10 to the power 6 hertz. This is your answer. Therefore, this natural frequency in first condition when thickness is 1.8 mm for the quartz material, which with the provided values of Young's modulus and density will be equal to, this answer I can convert into megahertz. 10 to the power 6 is nothing but mega. Therefore, it is equal to 1.53 megahertz right this will be the fn1 now second question in the same question they are asking calculate the change in thickness required initially thickness is t1 now what is the change in thickness required 
if the same plate the same plate means material is same that is young's modulus and density are same if the same plate is to be used to produce ultrasonic waves of frequency 2 megahertz now when fn 2 becomes equal to 2 megahertz that is 2 into 10 to the power 6 hertz then thickness t2 we have to calculate and then difference we have to calculate because they are asking what is the change with the same values of y and rho now again how to write this fn2 fn2 is equal to 1 upon twice t2 under root of y divided by rho therefore from this can i write t2 is equal to therefore from this t2 is equal to 1 upon 2 fn2 under root of y divided by rho therefore is equal to 1 upon 2 into fn this natural frequency is nothing but 2 into 10 to the power 6 2 into 10 to the power 6 under root of y is nothing but 8 into 10 to the power 10 divided by rho is 2650 now from this my dear students you will get thickness in second condition now let us comment your answer i think you will get 1.37 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter answer will be in meter standard unit so let us convert into mm it is into meter if i multiply this answer with 1000 i will get mm therefore which is equal to 1.37 mm if this much thickness is used for the quartz then instead of getting 1.53 frequency we will get 2 hertz 2 megahertz of frequency for this much thickness but they are asking the change in thickness required now my dear students change is always final minus initial all right so here i will find the change in thickness required therefore just a minute i will make a sufficient space for solution now my dear students here the question is to find change in thickness therefore change in thickness that is del t change is always final minus initial t2 minus t1 t2 is 1.37 t1 initially is given 1.8 now if i find this change i will get negative change that is minus 0 0.43 mm this much change in thickness is required now what is the meaning of negative sign now my dear students we have to decrease the thickness by 0 0.43 mm to get 2 hertz of frequency 2 megahertz of frequency sorry it is megahertz so my dear students negative sign means negative sign means decrease the thickness decrease the thickness we have to decrease the thickness by 0 0.43 mm to get the frequency of natural frequency of vibration as 2 megahertz now let us understand the third question third question is find the echo time of ultrasonic pulse traveling with velocity now here ultrasonic pulse is traveling with velocity means it is a velocity of sound that is 5.9 into 10 to the power 3 meter per second therefore here the velocity of sound v is given as 5.9 into 10 to the power 3 meter per second in a mild steel whose thickness displayed by gauge is 18 mm the thickness of mild steel is given 18 mm 18 mm let us convert into meter it will be 18 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter let us say this is a mild steel having thickness t having thickness t and let us say here what they are asking find echo time here find echo time let us say thickness i will represent with some other letter let us say thickness i will represent with let us say l l for the thickness and time for the echo time t is echo time right now my dear students here from this end let us say ultrasonic sound is traveling towards this end means now distance traveled is l and from this end we will get echo and it will travel back to the initial end total distance traveled is 2l now now to this to travel total distance to L with velocity V, they are asking what is the time T required. Right. Therefore, my dear students, we know that velocity is equal to distance traveled divided by time taken. Here, distance traveled is twice the thickness L. Here, L is the thickness. Here also, you have to make the changes. The thickness is L. Time we are writing as T. Right. Divided by time taken T. Therefore, from this we can say time taken will be equal to twice L divided by V is equal to 2 into L is nothing but 18 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter 
divided by velocity is 5.9 into 10 to the power 3. Now let us simplify this. Now if I simplify this, the echo time I will get as 6.10 into 10 to the power minus 6 second. And 10 to the power minus 6 means it is microsecond. Therefore the time required is 6.1 microsecond. Let us understand the next question. Now let us understand the fourth question. Here an ultrasonic beam of 1 cm wavelength. Here wavelength of the ultrasonic beam is given. Wavelength is generally represented by lambda. That is 1 cm which is equal to 1 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter in terms of meter. A ultrasonic beam of 1 cm wavelength is sent by the ship returns from the seabed after 2 seconds means here let us say here there is a seabed this is a sea surface on which there is a ship this is a ship right on this sea surface you have one ship this is a ship right and my dear students here there is a seabed seabed means the bottom of the sea and between them there is a sea water between them you can see this is a sea water completely sea water and let us say the seabed is at depth d from c the seabed is at depth d right it is a sea bed that is depth of the sea bottom point of the sea now what they have mentioned the ultrasonic beam of one centimeter wavelength is sent by the ship returns from the seabed after two seconds after two seconds means it is a Echo time that is 2 seconds. Echo time means, my dear students, the total distance traveled is from the sea to the depth. It will travel and again it will come back. Means total distance traveled to get back is d plus d. Therefore, here distance traveled is nothing but distance traveled is nothing but twice the depth. Right. When time is 2 seconds. Then if the velocity of ultrasonic beam in, in sea water is 1510 meter per second at 0 degree celsius now here velocity of ultrasonic beam at 0 degree celsius is v naught which is equal to 1510 meter per second then its salinity at 30 degree celsius is 29 gram per liter now salinity is generally represented by s which is equal to 29 gram per liter then calculate the depth of c at 30 degrees Celsius, temperature of the seawater is given 30 degrees Celsius and calculate the depth of sea. Question number one is depth of sea, D is equal to question mark. Then, and frequency of ultrasonic beam. Also, they are asking what is the frequency of ultrasonic beam. Generally, in physics one, you might have seen frequency is nothing but velocity divided by wavelength. Frequency is velocity divided by wavelength. This is called frequency in hertz. This is the second question, right? Now, my dear students, let us understand here. In previous lecture, we have seen how to find the velocity of sound. Velocity of sound when V0 is given, that is velocity at 0 degree Celsius, salinity is given and temperature is given. Then this formula is nothing but V0 plus 1.14 years plus 4.21 T minus 0.037 T square. Generally, they have to provide this formula in the examination, but if not provided, you must remember this formula, right? Now, in this formula, V is in meter per second. This V naught is also in meter per second. This salinity is in gram per liter only. Standard unit they have provided. And T is in degree Celsius only in this particular formula. Therefore, let us find this velocity of sound. That is V naught is... 1510 plus 1.14 salinity is 29 plus 4.21 temperature is 30 minus 0.037 temperature is 30 square. Now let us simplify this equation. You will find that the velocity of sound will be equal to 1636.06 meter per second. This will be the velocity of sound here. Now what is the velocity? Velocity is nothing but distance traveled divided by time taken. Velocity is distance traveled divided by time taken, which is equal to 2d. Total distance traveled is 2d divided by time taken is t. Right. Therefore, my dear students, from this, we can say if I write this d, it will become vt by 2. Therefore, distance traveled, that is depth of c, 2d is distance traveled. Therefore, half of the distance traveled is depth of c, that is d is equal to vt by 2. 
which is equal to v is 1636.06 into time taken is 2 echo time is 2 second divided by 2 this 2 2 will get cancelled so my dear students the depth you will get equal to velocity that is 1636.06 meter but it is in meter right now let us find the second question that is frequency here frequency is velocity divided by wavelength velocity already you have calculated wavelength is given here so let us solve for frequency this is your first question or this is your first answer for the depth of c therefore my dear students for second answer let us solve in this box for the second action second answer f is equal to velocity divided by wavelength see velocity in meter per second velocity in meter per second and wavelength in meter 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 will get cancelled it will become one upon second which is nothing but hertz one upon second is nothing but hertz right therefore f is equal to v is 1636.06 divided by wavelength is 1 into 10 to the power minus 2 therefore finally this answer will become 163.606 into 10 to the power 3 into 10 to the power 3 hertz this will be the hertz if i write in kilohertz it will become 163.606 kilohertz if i divide with 10 to the power 3 it will become kilohertz right this will be your answer for the second question that is frequency thank you dear students in next lecture we are going to start optical sensors